What's up guys, today I'm going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for you. Um, this is about to be the multiplayer. Um, I never, the last multiplayer game that I did for a Call of Duty was on Modern Warfare 3, if you guys remember back, um, you know, about last year. Um, I did that, well I mean I don't even think it was last year, I think it was when the game first came out. And, um really my opinions on it are not you know this this you know multiplayer on this game is good um but before this does get started i would like to tell you guys that no way at all am i a professional um so if you guys are looking for professional you know things in it then you may want to go find someone else to watch because i'm not a professional at all in fact, I think in uh, it's either this game or a different game that I filmed. I don't even get more than one kill. So, um, that sucks. But, um, even though that that's the case, I will be uploading some more, um, Call of Duty, um, gameplays. Uh, the, uh, multiplayer gameplays, that is. Uh, this game is about to be Domination at Encore. Which I think it was on one of the DLC maps. Um, not 100% sure. Um, but uh, the DLC, uh, there was there was actually a map that came with, uh, I don't know which one it was. It was either Uprising or Revolution. But um, it was Studio. And the map Studio is exactly like Firing, ra fire, firing Range, I think it's what it's called, from Black Ops 1. And it's actually a really good map. So, um, you know, like, um, but the only thing that I don't like about the map is, like, all the crawl, or not the crawlers, but the campers. Sorry, I'm so used to talking about Black Ops 2 zombies, not the online stuff, but. Um, don't think that this is going to get me away from doing the other guys. I'm still going to be doing some zombie stuff. Um, I just really needed a little bit of a break from zombies. I mean, I did all the videos except for Die Rise. And really, in my opinion, Die Rise was not really a good map. Um, Die Rise actually kind of sucked. So, that's my opinion on Die Rise. But the new one, uh, Mob the Dead... That is without a doubt the best zombie, yeah, the best zombies map, you know, on Black Ops 2. But it really does compete with my favorite zombies map of all time, which was Ascension on Black Ops 1. And, I mean, it does compete with that, just because of how good I think the map is. Um, Ascension was really one of those maps that you could just, you know, pick up a controller and pretty much get it really easily a lot of people got into high rounds there and um, you know it was just fun and um, for those of you guys who do not see there at the bottom of the screen I'll go ahead and tell you guys what gun I am using here I am using the MP7 with a red dot sight and a uh, silencer but um, actually on my gun now like, when I play it now, it's got different camo, and it's still got the silencer, but it does not have the same sight. It's got a different sight. Um, I don't know if it works better than that, but we'll just go ahead and say that it does. Um, I'll find it out which one it is for you guys in my next, like, not my next video, because I actually filmed two videos right at the exact same time. They're not going to be uploaded at the same time. One's going to be uploaded today, obviously, that's how you guys are watching it, and then one's going to be uploaded sometime next week, probably. But, um, in my newest one, like, the next one that I film after these two, then it's going to, I'll talk more about, uh, the other stuff. And, so, that's my plan for that. And then something else that I want to talk to you guys about here is you know i've not talked to you guys since call of duty ghost was announced um i did hear that at that event e3 is where we will be seeing the gameplay for call of duty ghost so which is really good 
and it's actually going to be, you know, normally at E3, Call of Duty is with the Xbox booth, which would be the Microsoft one, and, um, you know, you'd go in there and they'd talk about um, the new stuff for Xbox, but now, for E3, they're going to do something different, and they're actually going to have Call of Duty um, the day before E3, so it'll be on a Monday on June 9th, so that's three days from when I'm talking right now, and um, they're going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts and doing pretty much exactly what they did with Black Ops uh, 2. So, but the thing is, is, since it's on its own day, is it's actually going to be a longer time period. So, um, instead of just being like a half hour thing, this really could be like you get an hour of seeing the campaign. But I don't think they're going to show off too much. Um, you know, the things that I'm, what I think Black Ops Ghost, wow, Black Ops Ghost, Call of Duty Ghost will have, sorry about that, fail. But, um, I think Call of Duty Ghost will not feature zombies. I mean, if you look at the pattern of how, you know, they've been doing it, Call of Duty 4 didn't have any zombies, and that was the first Modern Warfare. Um, then you got Call of Duty World at War, um, that had zombies. And then you got into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, no zombies. Call of Duty Black Ops, the zombies. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which definitely was not the best Call of Duty um, ever. Did not have zombies, but it did have a survival mode. And then we got Black Ops 2 right now that does have zombies. Mm -hmm. Now, I... Oops, sorry. Gotta check my picture. But, um... What I think we'll see in it... I don't think it's gonna be zombies, even though that right now, they really could transition to having zombies on every single one of their, you know, games. But I don't know if they're gonna do that. Um, I think it would be really cool if they did do that. Um, because I think that they'd have more people, you know, involved with it. So let's talk about this map that I'm playing on right now. Obviously, I'm playing some Domination, like I said. Uh, Domination on Black Ops 2 is different from Domination on Black Ops 1. I don't know about Modern Warfare 3, because I, like I said, I didn't play Modern Warfare 3 that much. But, um, instead of having one round of Domination, you got two rounds of Domination. Obviously, you guys saw it. Um, it's going into round 2 right now. And... So, what this map is, is it's basically like a, uh, where a concert would be held. So, like, kind of like a stadium, but it, I don't know how to explain it, where a concert is held. I don't know, it's a stage, and it's got seating. So, to me, you know, some concerts are at a stadium, so I'm going to say that it's like a stadium. Um, obviously, you guys can tell that I'm not that good. But I actually did play a game earlier today, you guys would actually be proud of me, where I got every single one of my, um, I don't even know what they're called, every single one of my kill streak things, but that middle one that's on there is now a care package, so I did get a care package. I wish I got it on film, but they automatically record stuff, like, they record your games, so I could go back and show you guys it. Which I've been thinking about doing is just going back and showing you guys the game itself after the fact that it's been played. But I don't know if that's that's what I'm going to do or not. Um, and I actually think that this was before I realized that I can have a peacekeeper in this class. No. Okay, let's talk about that then. Um, you guys obviously know about the peacekeeper. It was one of the DLC guns. Um that came, I mean, it was the first one to do it, and I thought that you had to unlock it, like, because I have the Black Ops Season Pass, so I thought that you had to unlock it before you could use it, but you didn't. You didn't. So, I didn't know that you could use it, and I was stupid, and I never used it, and then I realized that I could use it, and I realized that it's not that good, like, other people probably use it because, you know, they like it. But, to me, this MP7... MP7. Yeah, MP7. Okay. So, like, to me, the MP7 is a good gun to use. And, um, I like it. 
I just don't know why. You know. Uh, on Black Ops 1, my favorite gun was a 74U. So, if that gives you, I don't know, maybe the MP7 reminds me of the 74U? Or I just like using it because I get more kills with it. But. You guys know how it is. You guys all probably have got your favorite gun on uh, Call of Duty that you always use on your multiplayer game. Um, just like how I do. So, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyways, so, like I said here, you can either play until the time limit's out or you reach the final score, which I think we're about to reach the final score. You know, I, I like how you guys said, I'm going to go back and watch this to see if this is correct, but it tells you where the map is, and I honestly think that it looks a little bit like, uh, okay, well, uh, Britain, that's what I was going to say, Britain. but uh, anyways, there was the final kill, so thank you guys for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe to VR Hammond. 65 and i will be uploading another some more call of duty gameplays for you guys thank you and i will see you guys in the next one